Today we have with us here a C12 altimeter. It's World War II, um, and I'm just going to show you a very basic uh, sort of functional test. Um, we don't have a whole lot of big pressure changes here, which can actually be quantified. Um, yesterday I actually pulled all this apart, and I set the pressure properly. We're at approximately 5,000 feet. Um, and it's very important that you do not blow into the back of these. Uh, you can damage the bellows inside. Um, and of course, these are painted with radium, and you don't want to get that uh, in your mouth. You don't want to ingest that. So just never blow into an old instrument. You never know what you could damage. You never know what's going to be coming out of that. Um, and of course, the moisture isn't helping. So what I have done here is we have the original AN fitting on this. And then I have just a shipping bag, you know, those big plastic uh, puffed up bags just for packing. I cut a hole in the corner, and then I used some masking tape, just taped it up here. It's not a perfect seal, it's not meant to be, um, but it's good enough so that when I squeeze on this bag, it actually adds pressure to the system, and that's the same as going down in altitude. Uh, of course, this is not calibrated, this is not a test. Uh, that you would actually have in a repair shop or anything like that. They have specific equipment to do this, which is calibrated, and they compare the numbers and all of that. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some light pressure on this bag, and you can see the needle there is dropping. One of the things with these older instruments is you see how this needle, it didn't go back to where we started. And the reason is there's actually friction in this system, and especially with the older ones, you get more and more friction because you have very light corrosion on the moving parts. So if you give it some taps, it'll start moving back up. And I've noticed here that between 700 and 800 on the needle, it actually has a lot of friction. Uh, so more tapping, it will actually return. And then we hit the lower friction area here can resume, resume uh, normal tapping. I believe that with the actual instruments before they have to be uh, installed in an aircraft, they have to pass what's called a friction test. It's that exact same thing. When you tap on it, that needle should not jump more than, uh, I want to say, 10 to 40 feet, depending on the altitude reading that you're currently at. Of course, this one jumped, well, 300 feet plus, uh, so it would not pass. This would not be installed in an aircraft um, until it's rebuilt, of course. And this will be rebuilt at some point, and it will be able to pass that test. But that is the C-12 altimeter. This is going to go in a B-17 restoration at some point. Uh, it will either be the bombardier's altimeter or the pilot's altimeter. Uh, we actually have a second one of these which is in worse condition. Uh, and we might make a video on that one later when it's actually all pulled apart. 